Here we have the 2020 GMC Yukon Denali. And this is a two wheel drive model in carbon black metallic on jet black perforated leather seats. And this Yukon comes with a 6.2 liter V8 paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission. There's your signature Denali grill. Got your aluminum 20 inch wheels on your Continental tires. Your running boards. Got passive keyless entry. Power door locks, power windows, and power mirrors, along with folding mirrors with blind spot monitoring in them. Got memory seating for two. Bose sound system. Now this is a two wheel drive model, so no four wheel drive control, but you've got a heads up display, trailer brake controller, parking assist on and off, lane keep assist on and off, and adjustable pedals. And there's your Denali steering wheel. Denali stitching in the headrests. And we'll get back to the interior here momentarily. You've got second row bucket seats here that are heated. And you've also got your rear AC controls along with USB, HDMI, aux, and a three prong household plug-in for your laptops or game systems or whatever. It's your third row seat. And then here's your rear entertainment system that includes Blu-ray player. And as we hop in the rear seat, I'm 6'2", and this is the room I have from the second row. And then we'll go back one more for those that are curious. And this is how the third row is. So not the most comfortable, but I mean, your kids can definitely sit back here. <laughs> Go check out the trunk space. So you've got a little room back here, but when you hold these buttons here, power folding, and you've got all that extra room to fit whatever you need back there. And there's your passenger seat, heated and cooled as well. There's your navigation system. And then with the Denali, with the open road package, you've also got access to your videos. You can turn on the rear media. You've got your XM traffic. You've got your XM weather. And you've also got your backup camera. You've got your dual zone climate control, rear climate control, heated and cooled rear or heated and cooled seats. Excuse me. There's your sunroof. You've got OnStar, universal home remote. You can control your power hatch from up front. And then there's all that room you get folding the seats down from the front. Wireless charging. You can control your forward collision alert, cruise control, heated steering wheel, and then your hands free from the steering wheel. And if you look close, I'm gonna zoom in. There's that heads up display. And there's your gauge cluster with your middle part being all digital. 
your fuel gauge, oil temperature, and then of course your um, speedometer. And there's your shifter. Got push button start. And since this is probably the lightest and fastest that you can get in a GMC Yukon with a 6.2 liter and a two wheel drive, we're gonna go ahead and put it to the test and take it for a quick test drive. Here we go. Yeah, I just got done driving a 5.3 and I can tell you the 6.2 just throws you back just like it does, not just like it does, but it throws you back similar to like the Camaro does. Just having all that power. Caution, I-24 road construction. And the engine really isn't that loud unless you put your uh, foot down and then it just comes to life. We're going to do that here. Yeah, it just throws you back in the seat. The 5.3, it has power, but it doesn't put you back in the seat like the 6.2 does. And the 10-speed automatic, you know, GM's been doing a great job with these and Every shift is seamless, you don't feel it. I'm gonna put it at a cruise at around 70. And all in all, it's, it's a lot quieter than your XL is, and this has the 20 inch aluminum wheels as opposed to the one I tested before that had 22s. So that one's a little bit louder and it's just quieter in the cabin. And it's, it's a smooth ride, definitely a smooth ride. And this is one of the main reasons that people like going with the Denali's is they just, they love how they ride. Let's see if I can test the brakes here. Oh yeah, braking is very good. You have to put your foot down, but you don't have to put it down unnecessarily like it's just the perfect brake pedal for something that's this big and rides up this high so I'm gonna put it in the flop shift mode real quick see what kind of power we've got Yeah, it just, it throws you back in the seat that it, I don't know how else to explain it. It's not as fast as the Camaro, but I'm telling you, it throws you back in the seat when you give it throttle, just like the Camaro does. And they both got 6.2 liter V8, so it explains a lot. But just a great, great feel whenever you're able to throw yourself back in something this big. It's nothing like a Trackhawk or, you know, a twin turbo Mercedes truck, but I mean, you've got raw and naturally aspirated power here. No superchargers, no turbos, just a big Chevy engine. And going down this back road, it feels really, really, it's a smooth ride, very smooth.
and it's so relaxing in here now because it's so quiet there's no not a lot of wind noise there's not a lot of um jerking and it's just nice and calm in here but then if you want to turn the radio you've got that uh bose system and it just sounds really really good so whether you need peace and quiet or you know something to take your mind off whatever you've got good acoustics either way But honestly, I just love hearing the rumble of that engine whenever I give it throttle, so. This is definitely, definitely. Let me just say, I see why people like going for the 6.2 liters and the Denali's. It's just a different animal. They're both fast, but the 6.2 is just, it's on another level. And the seating is very comfortable. There you have it. That's my review of the 2020 GMC Yukon Denali.